obvious that I, I felt, you know, obviously Illinois is good, and I felt they were better than their record. I know they've gone through some ups and downs, but, um, you know, for us, you know, defensively, I felt it was where the uh, the game was decided and what we didn't do um, and didn't, do, got, didn't get done consistently enough. And credit to specifically Coleman Hawkins for taking advantage of some of our mistakes. Um, but, uh, you know, the guys continue to battle. We've got to be more efficient offensively, specifically in the first half. And then, but uh, I thought defensively we got loose, got disjointed, um, and Illinois took advantage of it. And they can they can do that with how they can spread you specifically if Hawkins is hitting threes like that. Um, there's a little more pressure on you. So we'll uh, we'll regroup. This league isn't uh, for the faint of heart, but turn around and get ready for Tuesday night. So questions? We have mics on each side of the ring. Just raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Or behind you. Craig, you mentioned the three-point shooting, but it also hurt that Shannon got them off to a good start in the first half by getting to the rim yeah. or, or getting in good scoring position a lot. Yeah, I thought we did a better job as we, you know, adjusted some things and um, Max got into him a little bit more, Jordan got into him a little bit more. Um, but yeah, he did. I mean, he got to the left hand on specifically some of the lane line action they do. So, um, you know, but at that point, even in the first half, we're uh, numbers wise we're okay it's the offensive part of that I didn't think we finished enough and we got obviously Steve getting two fouls and having to sit takes away a pretty prominent post presence so um, I thought that got us out of sync offensively and but I again I think if I as I watch this film it's going to be most of most of the things are going to be on the defensive end. Greg when did you know the ball wasn't going to play and how did that change your uh, game plan? Um, Probably within a day or so after, you know, the last game, just uh, how uh, you know he's improving, but not ready to go yet. So, back to the right, Greg. What would you like to see differently from your your perimeter defense? Uh, anything specific you can get into that that maybe fell short today? Well, wait, specifically, we got to cover up better on some of the pick and pop stuff and that elbow out of the spread that they do. And uh, when we did it. Um, I thought we covered it up pretty well, but obviously we did not do it uh, well enough several times, at least for him to get, I think five of the six were in that, threes were in that situation. Jeremy? Greg, besides you, the things you talked about defensively, what have you seen differently from Illinois offensively? Because they struggled obviously here recently. But make shots. I mean, when, you're, when you can have Hawkins shoot it like that and they get ten threes, um, now the free throws get a little just joined it because we had to foul there at the end and foul more than, than normal. But uh, I felt, felt the threes were the difference. You know, we go eight for 29, and they're 10 for 19. So it's pretty efficient when you got 30 points on 19 shots. And back to the right. Greg Connors, the CJ is going through this for the first time. And I know that Illinois scouted him well, but he kind of bogged him down. What, what are you hoping he learns from this tape? How can he grow from this experience? And there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot, both ends of the floor. Um, you know, and that's going to come through. Some of that will help him for the next game. Some of that will be, you know, over the course of his career, specifically as he gets stronger and, and more accustomed to, to play physically like this league group demands. So there's everything on both ends of the floor. Or in the overhead to get more minutes, obviously. They're learning how physical it is, obviously. What did you see? <laughs> did you see maybe big eyes from them? No, times? no, I thought I thought Carter was, you know, for the most part, I'm sure I'll find some things where we gave up driving lines. And Marcus hasn't had as much experience, so he's there is going to be a lot of learning with him. Um, but I thought for the most part, you know, I, again, we did a decent job on the glass. Um, so we didn't let them get going there for the most part, but um, it, it's everything. If we get beat off the dribble too much or uh, get out of position, the rotation that causes, and it's a domino effect when things break down defensively. Um, so I guess that going through the tape will help us um, dissect all of that. Right here to the right. It looked like Illinois really wanted to pressure the, the guards and push them away from the rim and make those catches contested and, and tough. It looked like you guys did a better job in the second half, but did you get to the free throw line as much as you would want tonight and attack no. that pressure? No. I mean, it's 
Some of it's to that we didn't have the ball in there enough. We did in the second half and made more of a concerted effort to, to touch it, touch the post. But um, and in some of it's to how we're finishing. If we're playing off two feet or if we're going in there, jumping off one, fading away, you're not going to get a call. Um, and a lot of that is guys that haven't had a lot of experience that have figured that out yet. And they've got to figure it out that playing off two feet and playing strong towards the backboard and the rim, you're going to get the call more so than if you're falling down or fading out of bounds. Anything else for Coach Guard? All good. Thank you. All right.